started looking at my gender as a strength as opposed to a barrier and i think a lot of that also stems from finding your own tribe what do you achieve from putting together a group of inspirational enthusiastic driven women leaders women leadership matters yes stop apologizing and own your strengths through this journey i've realized that as your authentic self you can be a leader you can be vulnerable and you can be a leader you can also have a very uh, positive relationship with power these were just some of the insights that women lift health india gathered as 30 of our emerging leaders in the inaugural india cohort of the fully funded flagship leadership journey program finally met this dinner meeting brought these talented women together to discuss how the last one year gave them the tools to successfully use their voice expertise and leadership skills for health impact and advance to senior leadership positions in global health going through the cohort we i felt that actually women in leadership position have a unique set of challenges which they have to learn to uh, uh, overcome or learn to understand it has improved my self awareness and it has also made me understand how i need to nurture other leaders around me but the knowledge exchange didn't end there the next day saw an action packed riveting conference organized and curated by women lift health in partnership with the grand challenges india byrac that highlighted and promoted the importance of women's leadership in health and science with addresses from a stellar lineup of speakers including Dr. Desi Thomas, Director General of Aeronautical Systems, Defence Research and Development Organisation, Dr. Renu Swaroop, former Secretary, Department of Biotechnology, Ministry of Science and Technology, Dr. Soumya Swaminathan, Indian pediatrician and ex-chief scientist WHO, Dr. Rajiv Behel, Director General ICMR, and Dr. Neera Jain, Country Director India Path among others. how many women are getting those opportunities or are there you know exclusionary systems that are just excluding these women when the time is coming to where they can prove themselves right and to your other point about having women leaders is also a very critical one because this is something that dr kang who's also one of our mentors said very beautifully you cannot be what you cannot see The conference also brought together some of the most influential individuals in India's public health landscape to explore how gender impacts their work. Time has come that we need to have diversity in leadership. So I think at least there's a spotlight on the fact that we need more women in um, in STEM. How they have helped or can advance the equality the agenda. Support from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. We're investing in individual women, institutional partners, and respected societal champions to make change. Gender equality doesn't mean just putting a woman, one woman on a corporate board or a government committee, no matter what her qualifications are. It means making sure that women have the opportunities to show that they are qualified, that they bring uniquely valuable contributions that can't be found in a room filled just with men and what having women at the decision making tables means for people's health and well-being besides focusing and outlining these critical aspects of gender decision making the conference also hearteningly celebrated women's leadership at all levels Achieving today's complex global health goals requires greater and more diverse leadership talent across sectors and countries. Women Lift Health continues its work around the world to accelerate the advancement of talented women into senior leadership by investing in mid-career women and influencing the environments in which they live and work. Mm -hmm.